I just realized my microphone's been muted. How long's that been going on? How long has that been muted? Am I alive? Am I? Hello? How long has that been? Oh God, I don't want to hear me. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Uh, how is everybody doing? I get it. I'm late. I had to go to the bathroom. All right Fashionable are we gonna have a shirtless Kyle today? I don't know if it gets hot enough. Maybe Let's see who we got in here today. We got Gwyn, Rec, Maldwin, Leo, El Nombre. El Nombre? El Nombre? Uh, I already said Rec, Wolf, Rick, Leo, Lucas let's See we got Beck Nick, it is the weekend and it is gaming time. Indeed, be made pastry. How is everybody doing? I have to switch the my monitor to actually be for the game. I think it's El Nombre, but I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> That's fair. How is everybody doing today? Let's, uh... Which one of these do you think will be the easiest? The one you're looking at. Uh, night was pretty easy. Hope everybody is doing well today. Um... We are moving on to the next run. Moving on to... Mr. Coat himself, the Wanderer. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the Warrior or the... Uh, if you guys haven't seen the Warrior or Knight, um, we, those were the last two that were uh, allowed. Or not allowed. Sorry, I don't know why my brain did that word. Uh, those were the last two runs we did. There is a playlist in case you guys do want to watch that. Um, but Sir Pillwill was the Knight, and I'm out of uh, safe files so I need a looks like Sir Dumpy is getting uh oblivioned so uh goodbye Sir Dumpy you served us well four hours two minutes and 46 seconds is how long it took to do that playthrough and uh yeah today we're going to a uh, new run uh we'll do so while I talk about some stuff, uh, remember that funniest character name gets the, uh, or character name that I find the most entertaining gets to be the Wanderer. So who wants to be the Wanderer? In fact, just for, uh, just for fun, I'll put this up here now. All right, you get to name this character. Anyway, the chat. Nomad, Squilliam, Dinkus, El Wandre, Dion, Dingle Popper, Dumpy Doss, Dumpy Dose. Uh, I guess you could say Dumpy got dumped in true. I am lost. Jack the Ripper, Sir Dumpy the Second, Useless, Captain Bebop, getting milk. Oh no. Oh no. Linguini. Number 34D. Wander. El Wandre. Wandeer. Dark and Leon. This is a normal run or a challenge run? Ah, uh, kind of half and half. Getting milk is pretty great. Joseph Joestar. You know what? Getting milk is pretty great. Milk. You know what? Let's get a. Uh... I don't want to do this. The milk, man. I love it. 
Yes, the milkman. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. I uh, the milk. Mm, <laughs> I'm tempted to leave it like that. I'm tempted to leave it like that. I'm not going to, but it's tempting. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. I don't remember what that guy looks like, so we're just gonna do something funny like. Oh, we're gonna give him wild hair. Yeah. You know what? He can have. Yeah, black hair is fine. That's ah, fine. Oh, God. I forgot to hit the record button again. I am the milk man. My milk is delicious. Um, all right. Uh, for anybody who's wondering what the reference is, it's a meme that is in reference to Psychonauts, I believe. A game that I have not played yet. I should play that. I should play those games. Alrighty. So, for people who have potentially missed the past two runs, um, the idea of these runs are, um, with the exception of rings and consumables, um... Basically, we have to beat Dark Souls every single boss using only the gear that the starting class permits us. So, for example, for the Wanderer, um, we can only use the Wanderer's armor, uh, the scimitar we get in the Asylum, and the small leather shield, I believe it is called. Um, rings and consumables are on the table. Um... I don't suppose Falchion is allowed since that comes with the Wanderer's Head of Light Town. Um, I'm not going to use the Falchion, um, although I would, I can definitely see the argument for using it. Um, I'm going to stick with the Scimitar, though. Um, and that, we're not exactly doing a challenge run, I guess you would call. Um, day one of asking when you're doing a Psychonauts playthrough. Oh boy, here we go. Um, we're not necessarily doing a challenge run, um, as much as we're just, ow, uh, as much as it's kind of just testing the strength of all of the classes, um, and then at the end, we're going to make a big video, uh, talking about how hard each run is, which run we think was the hardest, which one we think was, um, easiest, so on and so forth. Oh, I'm off today. Regrettably. But mashing is off as well. Offhand scimitar? No. Uh, so, the nice thing about Wanderer is for the first time, and probably this is how it's going to be for the rest of the runs, except for maybe Bandit, um, we can actually wield everything the class gives us at the start and still be fast rolling so we're probably not gonna see a lot of levels of endurance i'm still gonna level endurance um do a parry all right i'll parry with the cement you guys happy hold on wait hold on i got this Damn it. Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. Oh. Hold on. I got this. Ha ha! We call that the weapon swap, Harry, baby. That's it, guys. We've already won the run. We got the, uh, the, the parry there. Um, so the reason why we're still going to be leveling in Endurance is because uh, Scimitar attack fast, and I want to attack a lot. So uh, especially on bosses like the Four Kings, where I'm going to have a lot of time to just wail on the boss, I'm going to want a lot of stamina. 
So I'll probably end up putting over the course of the run, maybe like, maybe like 10 levels in stamina. Uh, we'll see what happens though. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. Do the double front flip. I watched a no level night run and it seemed to, to be actually quite hard. Yeah, without leveling up, it's probably going to be a lot harder. To the land of the ancient um, lords. I don't know, maybe at some point I'll redo all of these without leveling up. Lordran. Um, but I'm just curious, like, how strong all the starting classes will actually get if you focus on upgrading them, you know? Darkwood Grain Ring is just such... I don't know. Chat, I know I'm going to get a little bit of flack with this. But I just don't really care about Darkwood Grain Ring. <laughs> I mean, it's cool, but like... Eh? Eh? Your chat, who dis? Uh... All right, first couple levels are going into deck or uh, health, and we're gonna already start pumping decks because the scimitar primarily scales with decks. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, B scaling decks, E scaling strength. That's gonna be nasty. Hopefully, I am a little concerned as far as this playthrough goes. Uh, the last, not as far as concerned, like. That we might hit a couple bosses that are going to be a bit harder. Um, but I think the B scaling will probably carry us. Also, fun fact. When uh, I, in my early Dark Souls days, I would start every character as Wanderer. Because it's actually a pretty good class for just going into any build. Um, if you're not sure what kind of build you want to make yet then Wanderer is not a bad choice. Just pick this up and see what happens. Will you wander into my heart? Maybe I already have. Welcome in, Miasmania's biggest fan. Yeah, Bandit is... Bandit is cracked. I have a feeling that Bandit might end up being pretty high up there on how good it is. The Knight, I have a feeling... Like, right now, Knight is probably the strongest, but... We might get there with, uh... It called um, with bandit as well. Yeah, the knight armor is just so strong. A broadsword, actually, the broadsword damage. Once we got it up there, so this was something that I was uh, doing a little research on. Um, like a little bit of research and a little bit of testing kind of like how to scale the weapons and stuff like that. Um, the broadsword at level, about level 30 in both strength and dex, which may sound like a lot, but when you only are putting levels in those two levels for a good majority of the run, um, it has about the same damage as a Black Knight Sword at plus five with just the minimum levels to use it. So, you're still used doing like a fully upgraded Black Knight Sword, which is it's pretty crazy. When you get to the Spellcaster, will you be able to duplicate the spells in your attunement slots or will you just be stuck with one spell? Um, I will be able to use multiple copies of the same spell 
but I cannot pick up any new spells, if that makes sense. So with Sorcerer, I only get Soul Arrow. Is that Broadsword plus 15? Yes. It's been a while since I've used a scimitar, but these uh, horizontal attacks are really nice. So wait, what I'm hearing is the worst class for this challenge isn't deprived its cleric? I mean, it might end up being cleric, yeah. Scimitar OP and question? Question. The, we'll end up seeing how strong the mace will be, but uh, I have a feeling deprived is not actually going to be the worst. I hate this game sometimes. Oh. I'm not allowed to use it, but... Seriously, no tight night. Since arrows do not take a spot in the consumables for the classes that get them, can you buy more? Uh, yeah, I'll let myself buy whatever arrow is available. I mean, I could. I think Hunter starts with standard arrows, which aren't bad in the first place, but... If we get a cat ball, I'm crying. Explain this build. All right, you see everything on screen right now that I have on? That's all I'm allowed to use for the rest of the game. That is the whole build. And we're doing that for all 10 starting classes. To see uh, how viable each one is at beating the game on their own. Uh, I could level up here, but actually wait, I should rest at that bonfire. That's a free 500 souls. Which one do you think will be the hardest? Either Thief or Sorcerer. And I am I know Thief is actually up next. If we can find a practical use for the not kick move. Good luck. Did you miss that crossbow archer? Really? Also, three, two, one. Does bleed and crit damage. Yeah, okay, so the thing is, there are a lot of things in the game that don't bleed, and crit modifier is great. 
Except there is only one boss, maybe two. Like, I, I don't know if crit modifier applies to plunging attack damage. If it does, then there's three bosses. Otherwise, there's one boss that that will actually matter on. Did you start running? No, cool. Are you allowed to level up? Yep. Thief will have to be the parry of the world run for a lot of the enemies, yeah. Also, forgive me if I'm a little bit quiet to start off the run here. I've only been awake for about three hours, if that. Buddy, where are you going? I assume cleric and sorcerer you can only use starting. Yeah. Which we're going to find out just how strong the starting soul arrow can get. Uh, Probably going to be good for most of the base game, honestly. Like a decent one. Uh-oh. That was a very weird. But leveling stats proportionally to the starting stats. Ooh, that's interesting. So every every time you level up one stat, each stat has to go up as well. That's interesting. It's 8 p.m. I've been up since 4.30 a.m. I feel that. Just arrived. Did I miss anything? Eh, just some normal asylum. Not asylum. Well, yeah, asylum demon. Normal asylum demon and uh, tourist demon shenanigans. Nothing impressive. You missed the first. I haven't died yet. Usually what happens is I die and then uh, I die in this church and then press shows up and he makes fun of me, which technically we're right on schedule for that. How do you do a jumping? Or a standing jump attack. All right. So when you're doing a jumping attack, the entire idea behind those inputs is you just want to be clicking forward on the stick and the button at the exact same time. Kind of like a smash attack for Smash Brothers and stuff like that. So as long as you just like tap forward and the corresponding button at the same time, as I screw that up, you'll, you can pretty consistently land it. Let me guess, it's to beat it with the starting stat. You're definitely a year late. No, I think I'm right on time. It's just whenever I wanted to do it. Also, I'm killing this guy before I go down to see Andre because I want the Titanite Shard. What just beeped? That is my PC that does stupid things at random intervals. If you hear that beeping sound, just ignore it. it it's dumb. My PC is dumb.
Kicking in sold games is my nightmare. I always struggle to press both together, apparently. Yeah, I, a lot of people have uh, tend to have problems with it. Like, more than I typically expected. Um, so you're definitely not alone. Uh, and Scimitar plus five. Cool. This should do pretty strong damage to gargoyles. Or wait, no. Uh, in fact, we're just gonna go all in on Dex here for a moment. I missed a Black Knight sword drop. Oh yeah, the first Black Knight gave us his sword and it made me sad. I seem to always end up kicking instead of doing an attack. Yeah, I, I've actually... When I was playing Dark Souls 2, I used to do that a lot. Uh, with the uh, the guard break. Ugh. So this is going to be a pain. Oh, thank you, Balder. Step one. And okay, cool. We got a half decent pink room. Ascend skip to Anor Londo without dying just to get great magic weapon. <laughs> yeah, it's certainly a process. There. Yeah, no death in the church. Now it's just time to die to gargoyles. And I just want that much of the cutscene. Can you jump for me? I mean, that's not a terrible start. Definitely take that. That damage is disgusting. Oh yeah, no. Uh, gargoyles are, this is something that a lot of people don't realize. Gargoyles are very squishy. They are not a very tanky boss fight at all. And then you get to like Quelag, and Quelag is one of the tankiest bosses in the game. Just got Bloodboard. What do you think about it? I think it's certainly a game that I need to play. Also, I did not get Homeward Bones. Oh, so I gotta go down to talk to Mr. Mr. Man down here. What am I doing? Uh, thank you. And I'll get three because I'm probably gonna use end up using the six that I use. Now I gotta find my homework bones, change order, put them there. Cool. Yeah, Tots Gaming is playing Bloodborne right now. I mean, not at this very second, but he's doing his own playthrough of it, which is probably fun to watch. But I've not watched it because I haven't played it yet. You know what? I'm kind of tempted. Okay, chat, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. <laughs> I'm doing. I'm putting it all into decks. <laughs> uh, where am I going next? Um, where do I want to go? Uh, you know what? I kind of want to go kill Pinwheel. I don't know why, but I have the urge to go kill Pinwheel. Twenty twenty-four, the year Kyle plays Bloodborne in the Barbie horse game. 
Yo, I'm down to play the Barbie horse game. I got to get myself on that speedrunning leaderboard for it. Oh my god, we're one-shotting the hollows. This is great. If when you do Demon Soul Sorcery only, will you start as the Royal or Sorcerer? I'm going to be 100 with you. I played Demon Souls once, uh, and I do not know what all the starting classes are. So uh, this challenge run, which by the way, if you guys haven't voted yet, uh, on the community tab on my channel, there is a poll up on what the next Souls challenge is going to be. Uh, if you haven't voted yet, go, go vote. Go have fun with that. Uh, in the meantime, Demon Souls is winning the poll, which I did not expect. Uh, which means I actually have to, like, learn how to play Demon Souls now. I I've beaten it before. It's just I've never, like, done a playthrough of it. Also, am I... That's where it is. Okay. Your shield looks like a giant bottle cap on your back. True. Okay, I want plus one Estus before I go down to pinwheel. What was that roll buffer? Hello? I'm getting the weirdest roll buffers. Okay. The game is just eating my roll inputs for like a while. All right, hi there, Lori. How you doing? I pressed black too early. Whoops. Wreck celebrating as if I'm about to let Lord Trek live. There it is. Fight the man? Okay, I should have fought him. That's fair. All right, ring of favor and protection obtained. And plus two, or plus one Estus, sorry. Also obtained. Uh... All right, so I'm going to kill Pinwheel only because getting Covetous Silver Serpent's Ring sounds like a lot of fun really early. Um... And I have 25 decks already, so I'm probably going to do a lot of damage to Pinwheel. He regrets buying decks? No, I want to buy more decks. Good afternoon, Kyle. I don't know why I put a space in your sentence. Uh, how are you going to make this run hell for yourself? I haven't put, like, any levels in health yet, although I still have a decent amount of HP. Everything has gone into decks. Hello, Mr. Necromancer. I really like the D&D &D party gang squad fight. Yeah, Lortrek has a cool fight. Also, something I want to point out, Wanderer is also the first class that we're playing that has just an awful shield. Like, Leather Shield is actually just not good at all. Okay, we are not two for two on playthroughs with Bone Wheel Shield, so. That's something that some people could take solace in, because we got Bone Wheel Shield first kill on our last run. We also got Demon Great Axe from uh, Thor's Demon. That was interesting. Welcome in, Gothic Phoenix. How are you doing? Uh, is this a good use of my gold pine resin? 
Yeah, why not? Ah, no swag roll. Oh, thank you for putting a clone, a clone right next to you. Oh my god. Wait. Hold up. Wait. Wait a wait. Wait a second. Hold up. I think I need to go take another shower. Uh. Get dunked on, idiot, I guess. Also, chat, what mask is it going to be? You have the next 20 seconds to guess what the mask is. What's it going to be? Last time we had father, by the way. I don't remember what it was the first run. All right, I'm seeing a lot of daddy masks in there. I'm seeing some childs. Not a lot of mothers. There's like like two two mothers. First run was mother. Okay. All right, three, two, one. Child. I think we've gotten all of the uh, the masks now. If this were a, a run that I could equip pinwheel masks, that would actually be my favorite. Because then I could put on a better shield than Grass Crest. Even though Grass Crest is already a great shield, but... I could put on something like Dragon Crest or just Crest. What do the masks do? So each mask has a different uh, passive effect while you wear it. Um, Mask of the Father gives you increased equip load, so you can equip more stuff. Uh, Mask of the Mother gives you slightly increased max HP, although the increase is very small. Uh, and Mask of the Child gives you uh, more stamina regen, which is my personal favorite. All right, we're going to chill for a moment, see if the Black Knight kills itself. If it does it here in the next couple seconds, then we'll go ahead and just go ahead and homework bone out, which doesn't look like it's going to. Oh. This game has defeated me. This exact area was my limit. I've beaten DS2 and DS2 Scholar, DS3 and Elden Ring, but this freaking Tomb of the Giants is where I draw the line. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are uh, not huge fans of Tomb of the Giants. By the way, we're just, I'm just going straight decks, by the way. I want damage this run. Uh, where do I want to go next? I have Moonlight Butterfly I can fight. Or... Yeah, let's go to Capra. Let's just go do Garden later all in one, all in one sweep. Two sends skip? Nah. Although, don't worry. It's not going to be very long at this rate before we see Iron Golem. Okay, I'm back. What did I miss? Pinwheel was, uh... Was, uh... Yeah. That guy... Have you ever done a giant dad build? Um, I've never done specifically like the classic giant dad, um, but I've done iterations of it. 
I'm gonna go buy firebombs now so I don't have to come back to the merchant later. Ah! Ow! Ow! That'll be enough. Keep trying. Yeah, 72 firebombs will be enough to get us through the segments I want to use them for in the game. Okay, chat. If I don't open the Firelink shortcut to Female Undead Merchant, please punch me. Because I forgot to do that last run, and I just didn't have resin for the rest of the run because of it. Because I'm too lazy to go back there. Also, this is probably... I don't want to die to this. Uh, that's going to hurt, but... Oh, no, it's not even going to hurt. Neat. Oh. Get to the door, get to the door! Oh. <laughs> Gladly. Have we done Cleric yet? No, I believe Cleric is uh, one of the later classes in the list. Is it bad that I usually 100% Catacombs early on? No. Nah. I honestly think it's intended to be an earlier area in the game. Like, even pre Quaylag. So, I mean, if you do it early, it's probably what the game design is intended for. Are you kidding? Hold on. Can I firebomb these doors? I never tried this. Well, I guess that works. Didn't kill him, but gets some damage off. Any chance we do more than one class this stream? Probably not, unless this class just gets blasted through in, like, sub three hours. Then, uh, actually, no, because next one is Thief, and it, Thief is definitely going to need its own stream. Yeah, but you can get the Divine Weaponry really early. Like, it's... Uh, divine Weapons are just... Uh, Moonlight Butterfly. Three, two, one. Ow. I paid for this. Nope, we're good. Um, I don't need resin for Capra, so we accidentally aggroed dock number two. Oh, I was one hit short of the stagger. Whoops. Took a kind of an unnecessary hit there, but okay. Now I'm going to get resins. Will this be uploaded? Yes. So the VOD will be here for uh, as long as my channel exists, um, and there will be a video that covers all of the runs. So all ten starting classes. I'm going to make one video. Uh, that's kind of like a challenge style video. Um, although I don't think I'm going to call it a challenge video. Uh, where we, I just talk about each run and we cover how each one looked and yada yada. It's going to be a long video. Eh, it kind of depends on how long I decide to spend on each class. Infusions allowed? Yes. Although, spoiler warning, I'm not going to get any of them. 
Do you intend to do this for the other Souls games also? I mean, I think it'd be fun. Uh, we'll get 15 charcoal pine resin because that feels like a good number. That was a little too far to the side. Also, this build's probably going to do really good on Gaping Dragon. Gaping Dragon has a very wide margin to do damage to him. Bye. Farewell. Oof. Okay. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. I really hate approaching that guy from this direction, so we're gonna go this way. Okay, what am I gonna want gold pine resin for? I'm gonna want it for Quaylag. Um, I'm okay with either gold or charcoal for um, the channeler. Ow. Ow. Yeah, I'd prefer not to get poisoned here. It's fine if I do, but it'd be annoying. Um, way lag. Four kings. I'm gonna want gold. Uh. I mean, I guess I could use gold for some of the Izalith bosses, but this full recap video or Lemon's one-hit challenge vid? Probably Lemon's video. Probably. Wait, are you coming up? I would love it if you would come up here. Oh, I think I got him before the ritual finished. Also, these rats are really annoying. Still no humanity? Okay. Try a few class runs in DS3. Fun way to play there, too. I imagine. Like, I imagine DS3 is probably going to be a really fun game to do this in. beaten the king's pre-lord vessel because I know it's possible. Oh, yeah. I've done it a few times, actually. In fact, I would not mind doing it this run because last run, the kind of special thing we did was we did um, we did the Sif alternate cutscene for the night. So, I mean, if we want to do pre-lord vessel four kings on uh, Wanderer, I don't mind. extra damage to gaping, but... Whoa, that's... That's nice, though. Kind of awkward to hit the tail. I'm going to, like, angle the camera a bit. Come here, buddy. Do it. Let's do 
do it. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, I need to go back up to um, Dumb Hall. Because I want to go find Reza. Is your head going to get stuck? Yeah, you can get the Dark Lord ending. Um, you can get the you can get either ending regardless of what you do earlier in the game. If you just leave the room, you get Dark Lord ending. It, it's just a matter of did you leave the room or did you press the bonfire? Uh, I'm going the wrong direction. Aishimwe. Back to uh, Undead Berg, or did we not stop at Berg? I think we stopped at Berg, right? We might actually go all the way back to Fire Firelink. Okay, Berg it is. Uh, I want more. More damage. More. This is uh this is the Wanderer DPS run. Oops. I want I got the length of fire ending on accident because I wanted to level up with the Souls Gwyn drop. That's very fair actually. It's really weird that Dark Souls just forces you into New Game Plus. It's like, of things that they could have fixed and remastered that I think would have been things that you can fix with quote unquote not ruining the experience like they were trying to do, adding an option to not go on New Game Plus is probably a uh, good option they could have done. Okay, um, I don't have dung pies, but I don't mind going to try and kill a uh, stray demon. Just so that way I can get the ring so I can run through Blight Town. There's a mod for that? Yeah, that's probably a mod that'd be good to have installed for a lot of people. Night. Hello, game. Thank you. I'm just an egg. So, I have this really funny, uh... I, I have a, uh... This really funny... It's not exactly really a story time as much as it's just, uh... I'd, I'd get involved in, like, some fan groups on Facebook and stuff. And there is this guy who had some really interesting takes on Elden Ring. Um, and... I told him he was wrong. And then he tried to convince me he was right. I didn't respond, but everybody else in the group, which by the way, I'm not like advertising myself as a YouTuber. They just think I'm a normal human. Everybody else in the group is just dogpiling this guy <laughs> for his opinion. What takes? Okay, so actually, do I want to kill this Black Knight? Nah, I'm good. Uh, so, for example, um, 
He's like, yeah, Elden Ring is bad because it's a Souls game with input reading. It's like, well, all the Souls games do that. Just that, that's something they all do. Like, I get Elden Ring has worse input reading, but like, um, another one was. Uh, a majority of the bosses aren't parryable, so they're bad souls bosses. But it's like that there's only one parryable boss in Dark Souls 1 though. Uh there was some other stuff. Uh oh, I thought the really funny one was man, old, like a quarter of Elden Ring bosses can be cheesed. And I'm like that's pretty good for a souls game if that's true. Because there's probably one Dark Souls boss that you can't cheese, maybe two. Also, uh, Wanderer DPS is hilarious. On straight even. Are there parryable Souls bosses in other games? Uh, I feel like there is. My brain is blanking, though. Also, GG, thank you for the uh, Titanite slot. I feel like... Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Can't you parry Abyss Watchers? Pontiff. Pontiff is another one. Uh, Pontiff, Gundir, Freed, Abyss Watchers. Okay, yes. Oh my god. Really? Really? I hate this game. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this game. Dragon Rider, that's another one. Oh my god, I'm gonna just run into the basin and I'm gonna get the halberd for no reason. By the way, we haven't even killed Quayli yet and we have 42 decks. That's, uh, that is certainly one of the gaming experiences of all time. I didn't get the ring. I'll go get it later. I'll just roll through Blight down. Oh, how much decks we going for? Ah, maybe when I hit 50, I'll level up a different stat. Or we could just try to go for 99 decks this run. Are you allowed to use any rings? Yes. Uh, mainly because rings in Dark Souls 1 aren't super strong inherently. So it's not going to make too big of a difference. The only real differences it's going to make were on the two builds that we've already done. Uh, where Havel's ring just made fast rolling easier but even then you could just kind of ignore that and just get endurance levels if you really wanted to so rings don't do very many crazy things in ds1 Belling Dragon Crest Ring will help on two of the runs, yeah. One large Titanite Shard. I 
I mean, yeah, Red Tearstone is really strong, but I don't like playing at Red Tearstone range, so I'm not going to use it. You've never done one hit before, right? Right? Yeah, yeah no. Never done it before in my life. I want gold for Quailag. This is one of the bosses that I do want to burn a gold pine resin on. Just because Quailag's so tanky. Oh, starting with long spew? Oh, Quailag. Honey. For me? resistance build what's your favorite ds2 enemy Ooh. that's a great question wouldn't chlorinthy ring be kind of worth oh actually you got a point chlorinthy ring would be kind of sick on this actually Not Kyle calling Quailag baby girl. I'm sorry. I love Quailag. She's not my wife. I just like her. She's just a good friend. Got me jealous of a spider. Swear to God. <laughs> May want to save souls for the crest for doing free Ann Orlando. Yeah. That's a, yeah. Pursuer is my favorite enemy. I mean, if you count it as an enemy, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> It'd be hitting different. I wish Kyle would call me baby girl. <laughs> oh no, what have I started? Just finished watching the Thorn Armor Challenge. Amazing job, bro. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, by the way, um, update for anybody who is looking forward to the Elden Ring version of that challenge. Uh, current state of that run, um, just full transparency. I haven't started the actual run yet because there are rumors that we might get the announcement of the release date of Elden Ring DLC at the Game Awards this year. I don't know if that's true or not, uh, but there's just rumors floating around that that might happen. If that does happen, then I'm going to wait until the DLC comes out and then I'll just do the whole base game and the DLC in Briar Armor. Um, so kind of just a waiting game at the moment. On uh, when that's gonna, on what happens. Ah, poo, I'm late. Welcome in, Dream. I have like 42 dexterity and have not leveled health except for like once. Do you plan going into the DLC blind and briar armor only? No. No. That would be torture. Now, stamina list. Maybe. Uh, 
Uh, I said one. Are you ever going to do Bloodborne? Yes. So. Uh, basically, right now, I'm working on a non-Souls challenge, which you guys will probably be seeing fairly soon. Uh, while I work on that, I'm also uh, finishing up Dark Souls 3. Um, and once I'm done with Dark Souls 3, there will probably be a couple more videos. And then you guys will... Uh, I'll put up a video, which is my first playthrough of Bloodborne. Um... Yeah, 46. There we go. Okay, I... Let's see. I'm at two large Titanite shards. I could probably do Sen's Fortress really fast. Um, just so that way I can get the large Titanite shards. And then, but I'm not going to do Iron Golem yet. I'm going to wait until after Four Kings to do Iron Golem. Chlorinthy Ring is a uh, is a pretty big brain uh, move, though. I should go get that before I do Four Kings. That'll probably be the last thing I do before Four Kings. Is I'll go get the chunks to upgrade, and then um then I'll go get Chlorinthy Ring. And then we'll go down and do Four Kings. Yeah, I was actually thinking about that, Lucas. Least favorite boss in DS3. Um, let me think. I'm trying to remember all the bosses. Uh, So far, least favorite might be... God, that's hard. At the moment, I... Yes, I would say either Twin Princes or Oseros. I think is how you pronounce his name. But that's probably uh, due to change. Sorcerer when, young man? Uh, wherever you see it in the... Oh, wait. I need to go this way. Uh, wherever it is in the starting class list, that's uh, where I do it. Osiris. Okay. And then Bloodborne is just gone. Two more. I hate sorcerers because they're OP in Elden Ring. I mean, to be fair, magic is really strong in, like, every game. Are you waiting for Gold Ring? Yeah. But what's your character's name? Dream? I would like you to meet the milkman. His milk is delicious. No, my elevator. I guess I can kill this mimic while I wait. Just for souls. Get on the elevator! Bye, Lightning Spear.
Kind of a slower sense fortress this time around, but that's fine. Play Metal Gear Rising Revengeance because it's right up your alley and fun. I will absolutely do that. I have to play some of the other Metal Gear Solid games first, though. All right, and we hit you with the... Why are you all the way down here? Hello? Get out of my way. I said get out of the way. Get out of the way. Thank you. And nice and easy. Uh, that's the soul. I want this. That means I need to buy one more large Titanite shard. Uh, yeah, one more. Boinkus. Grab that. I just bought it. Cool. Go along. Try and make Souls equals milk money. I hate this place. I usually find going through Sen's Fortress to be more infuriating than Blight Town. Kyle is the only person I know that can make Sen's Fortress not look like an absolute hellhole. I love Sen's Fortress. Maybe it's just because, like, I know the strats to get through it pretty fast, but I always find this area so fun. Do you ever plan on streaming Sekiro? Um, I... Mm, okay, so... I might end up doing some streams with it, but chances are it's probably just going to end up being like this is Hollow Knight, um, which this is, is kind of the series that I'm going to do for like my first playthroughs of games where you guys will get like a kind of fat video, but it will be like an entire playthrough of a game. I know the strats. I just don't have the ability. Nah, you got this. Um, I should come up and kill the firebomb golem, actually. Because... If I kill the firebomb golem, then I'll get a titanite chunk. Which, I need those. Ow. Just stepping. Cool. Uh, this damage is not great, but we're still on a plus five, so it's kind of expected. Don't mind me just wandering into chat. How are things going? We have leveled up, like, health once, maybe twice. Everything else is dex. We're getting ready to go down and get a plus 15 weapon because we have decided the special thing for this run. We're going to go kill four kings before we do Iron Golem. I hope you are doing well, Baron. By the way, everyone in chat, if you're not subbed to Baron, go sub to Baron's castle. He makes videos and has an actual sense of humor. I should have enough to get up to uh, plus 10 here. And... Yeah. Oh, yeah, easily. Cool. And we grab this. And I'm going to grab this as well, just for the sake of it. Weapon Smith box is great. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to... Have you ever done a resistance only build? I have not. Maybe I'll do that at some point. Just for the meme. Um, I need to... 
Wait, I want to go back down into Sun's Fortress. Uh, hold up. I don't mind burning a more bone for this. I want to go back into Sun's Fortress so I can kill the golem who is uh, pulled the gate. Uh, that will put me up to four, which means I'll need three chunks. There's one in the chest, two in chests, which means hopefully I'll get a third from a dark wraith. Or no, I can trade with Snuggly with the uh, the rubbish. Yeah, I just need to remember to go trade the rubbish. So that's two reasons to go back to uh, Asylum. Aren't there more chunks in Great Hollow? Uh, potentially. Um, but I don't plan on going into Great Hollow for more than just the Florenthy ring. If you're going to kill the four kings, I thought you needed the Lord Vessel. Nope. Four kings is the only one of the four lords that you can kill without obtaining the Lord Vessel. At least without like glitches and stuff like that. I do need to be careful actually. Because these guys are gonna try and make my life hard. Oh, thank you for that stun lock. That was beautiful. If I got Man Serpent Greatsword, I was gonna cry, by the way. Did I miss you getting the crest? Uh, yes, I purchased it from Andre when I got my plus 10 upgrade. I have not killed Sid yet, though. Cool, cool. Okay, so grocery list right now is go back to Asylum, trade Snuggly. Um, and get the Rusted Iron Ring. Then go down to Blight Town, get Clornthy Ring. And then go to New Londo Ruins, open that up. Um, and then get all the stuff for plus 15. So yeah, I will get plus 15 and then go down and fight uh, four kings. So that is the game plan at the moment. Why do most people buy the crest instead of just using the back way by the Hydra? It's just faster. That's all it is can't believe you're not doing kings with a plus zero. <laughs> Listen. I want to do damage. I want to be the DPS king. You know that part in Hunter x Hunter where everybody's becoming like all the different kings? Like the gluttony king and the speed king? I want to be DPS king. DPS Milkman is the best build. Okay, I'm gonna rest here. Um, and then I'm gonna go do the other stuff. Uh, when is that in eight, uh, Hunter Hunter? That is during Chimera Ant. When, uh... When uh, all of the different ants are spreading off to be like their own king. Are you going to get Quelag's boss weapon? Not for this run, no. Because I have to complete the game with this Skimitar. Scimitar. Skymitar. Skymitar, I choose you.
All right, time to die to the torch, Hollows. I can see exactly how far in we are. Hour and nine minutes, and we're getting ready to kill the four kings. That's pretty nice. Probably could have done this faster if I was being more efficient, but... Well, there's Titanite Chunk, and now I just need to get the two chunks that are in the chests, and we are home free on Titanite Chunks. You ever heard about the warriors from the asylum? They use swords. Curved swords. Hey, Lemon, I got this cool ball. You want to see it? You can't tell me what to do, Baron. Okay, cool. Got everything I need from this place. Never coming back here. I did pick up the doll, right? When I killed the Black Knight. Did I? Okay, I got it. Okay. That was, uh, that was gonna be spooky. Is it possible to force you to force you to play a Final Fantasy VII remake? Uh, no. Only because I'm already gonna play it. I just haven't uh, gotten to it yet. Because when I finally got my hands on a copy of it, it was like two days before Final Fantasy 16 came out. And I still haven't beaten 16. I really need to do that. So. Yeah. I'm back. What did I miss? Well, that depends when you left. Uh, we're getting ready to kill four kings. I want to go get Clorinthy Ring, though. I still would like to get the, uh... You asked me to hit you if I didn't open the shortcut. Oh, you're behind then. That feels like it was ages ago. Lucky you have 16. I'm stuck with 7-7 seven, seven remake. Yeah, I mean, 16 has been really fun. Um, it's definitely not the best game ever made. Like, it's definitely got some problems, but I'm really enjoying it. It's a very fun game for pushing buttons. killed which bosses yet 
Uh, Demon Taurus Gargoyles. Asylum of Demon. Uh, some other things. I can't think of names at the moment. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Florenthy ring is right there. I'll survive this. Please don't fall into the hole. Yay! We can go out. Stat pause? Huh? Oh, you want to see stats? There you go. Their stats so far. All right, now we got to go get the stuff to make a plus fifteen, and we're out of here. Then it's uh oh. Once I get plus fifteen, I actually have to go kill Sif. Thinking at the same time, Lucas. What? Bet. I. Hold on. I need to go get something. Nearly forgot. I have six homer bones left. I'll probably go buy more of those at some point. I forgot something very important. Don't worry about it. By the way, why did we not fight Iron Golem? Uh, I mean, I could have killed him while I was up there. Um, I just was planning on fighting him when I go to fight uh, everything else. Which class do you deem the easiest to run until now? Up until now, uh, definitely Knight. Knight has been... Being able to fast roll in heavy armor with that much poise and a broadsword that does about as much damage as the Black Knight sword with the proper scaling... It was nearly brainless. How many firebombs do you have? Uh, I think like 60? 70. Good evening, Mr. Chat, and hello, Mr. Streamer. Welcome in, Mr. Username. Or Mrs. Or Miss. I won't judge. I don't think the Wanderer starts with 70 firebombs. <laughs> Listen. It's fine. It's because they're a starter gift. Can we run along this wall? I'm just going to wait for that grab to time out. I, pro I probably still could have made it, but I just wanted to time it out. Lemon would be so proud of the amount of firebombs you have. True. That's one generous gift. Yeah, everybody starts with uh, 70 firebombs in their uh, inventory. 
Okay, line this up. Should with enough luck. Ah, I didn't hit it enough times. It's okay. It's all right. Gotta get the angle here right. Boinkus. There we go. I didn't mean to S this there, but. Now we do. Bonk. Bonk. I gotta back up and reset again so that way I don't accidentally uh, throw myself off the ledge here. Oh lord, he coming. Thank you for my key, sir. I am really liking having this, this Clorinthy ring. It feels really nice. Bro was not gonna let that slide. You know Lil Aggie. I do know of Lil Aggie. Lil Aggie knows of me. We have interacted very little with each other. <laughs> Not that there's any particular reason for that, it's just... There's not a lot of, uh, like... I don't know, we we just don't tend to work on the same things. I mean, he does Eld a lot of Elden Ring bingo, and Elden Ring randomizer stuff. And I'd like to play Elden Ring, but, I mean, there's just not a whole lot of stuff we do. Okay. These guys are going to be annoying. Oof. Okay, I need to be careful. These guys can mess me up. I'm so scared. I would love if these guys dropped chunks, by the way. Potentially, Faye. That's one of the ideas I've had. Why are we down here, Mr. Kyle? I want Titanite chunks. Also, four kings. Not that I can kill them yet, but we are going to kill them before... Um, Iron Golem. Uh, I'm gonna Pine Resin here because of the big guy. Thankfully, that's a pretty easy carry to get. Again, I would greatly I'd greatly appreciate some chunks from these guys. If I don't get them, it's fine, but they would be very helpful. At least that Nate. I do have the gold ring on. There we go. Ah, still no chunks. Okay, there are two chunks that I can grab in chests. That will be okay. 
it's just there's a high likelihood of dying <laughs> and I'd rather not do that right now very large ember now we just need two more titanite chunks and then we are home free one doesn't drop one that was very close This is about to get very scary. Actually, I'm going to come out here. I'm going to bait them out here first. Nope. No! I should have just played it slow. No. Uh, 18k souls down the drain. Oh, it's going to take me roughly a minute to get back there. It's just annoying. You already got the chunk at Snuggly? Yeah, but I need one more. I see all this celebration reacts happening in chat right now. <laughs> all right. Have you ever thought about doing a chat controls game run? Uh, I've thought about it. I just don't really know how to set it up, um, but it could be fun. Yeah, getting back to that point is not hard. It's just, I was enjoying being deathless so far, but now that we've died once, it's fine. I'll probably play a little more careless from now on. Shortcut now? Oh, this is the shortcut. Well, uh, the game did not let me pick up those souls, so if I lose them, which I didn't, you know who to blame. I think that's a bit shorter. <laughs> Personally, I prefer that one. Uh... Why did you stop doing the face cam? Um... One, because uh, 
the light, I, I would kind of get headaches. Um, I would get headaches when I would stream for long times with the light on, like the the big face light. Uh, number two, if I'm being totally honest. Actually, number two, it's a little easier to stream without it. Just it's a bit rip more relaxing, if that makes sense. Um, but number three, if, uh, it, but if I'm being totally honest, it's, it's mostly a self-confidence thing. Just, like, not having the face cam just makes me feel a little, uh... I don't know. I, I just feel a little more confident when my face isn't showing. I've seen a lot of advertisement for Omori. Oh, I haven't killed this thing yet. Wait a second. Alright, uh, we need plus 11. There we go. So what do we have for AR on the Scimitar right now? 379. Oh my god. Guys, I think we're doing damage. I think, uh, <laughs> I think we're doing damage. Uh oh. Thank you for the purple mouse clump. Streamer cheeses the game by leveling up his weapon. Yeah, are you really playing the game if you're upgrading weapons? It's basically easy mode. I'll do stuff from here. Um, I do not need that. I'll gladly take the black fire bombs though, because I want to use those on Moonlight. Playing the game if you're hitting the enemy cowardly out. True. What's funny is Moonlight Butterfly might actually kill me because I don't have a lot of HP. Uh, what's this shield's magic resists? 35. Lovely, so we don't even have that going for us. And... There we go. What in the... Get back on this side. Sit back on this side, thank you. Oh. Because I miss all of my black firebombs. All right, time for damage. Bonk, bonk. Oh my god. I need a shower. I need I need another shower.
This thing is so disgusting. <laughs> All right, boys, we've done it. 50 strength, or uh, dex. This is illegal amounts of damage. Like, okay, not that this is like the most damage out of any weapon in the game or anything, this is the weapon I started the game with. Is he not this is, uh... Let's see if I can get one more gold pine. Okay. The DPS king with the milk sword. I am the milk king. My DPS is delicious. I actually don't need these on my bar anymore. We are gonna shred the four kings, by the way. Four kings are gonna be so dead. From soft, what is this? gonna be able to do Clornthy Ring on Kings because I need to be have the uh, thing on. What am I doing? Uh, okay, I might need one more thing to do Kings then. Okay, I think I'm gonna go get green herbs. Cause I just wanna like maximize. Damn it. Do you still need favor and protection though? You do bring up a good point. Do I still need favor and protection? I mean, if I just start putting levels and health and stamina. That's another place to store an AR-15. Get rid of it. Uh, shout out if you get the reference. I mean, we could get rid of it. No reason not to get rid of it other than... You 
You know what? We're doing it. That is a lot less health and stamina. That is a... That is a concerning amount of health and stamina. I can swing my sword three times. I think I might need some endurance levels. I'm actually okay with the vitality, believe it or not. It's more so the... Uh Like, the vitality isn't going to be too much of a problem. Just don't get hit, Keck. Um, Very well. Uh, okay. I wish to make an addendum. Yeah, if you want to kill uh, Fire Kings, uh, there's this great strat with Fire Surge. Okay, can I swing my sword more than three times? Have I made error? I may have made error. That's all right. Uh, large Soul of Proud Knight. I'm gonna need all three of these. Not. Uh, one, two, three, four. You know what? This is fine. This is fine. Right? I mean, we have almost 400 AR. We'll be fine. We're gonna have gold pine resin. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. It's fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is only gonna be slightly painful. What is the meaning of AR? Uh, AR is attack rating. Um, so when I open up my pause menu, if you see R weapon run uh, one right underneath HP stamina equip load, there's R weapon one. Um, the number that that has is known as the attack rating, which a lot of people that are into like making builds and stuff will refer to as AR. Oh, yeah, we'll 
very easily 3k here. Yeah, this thing's uh, pretty disgusting. I get my uh, my bonus souls. So lightning does more damage to fire than uh, to four kings. Yes. Uh, fire is the most effective, or sorry, uh, lightning is the most effective element against the four kings. Let's uh, get some decent endurance. There we go. All right. Uh... There goes four kings. And uh, now we... Why didn't you use lightning surge instead of fire surge? True. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll give it a whirl. Uh, we can start putting some levels into health, I guess. Falchion was hugely meta for a while. Oh yeah, Falchion is a fantastic. I just didn't expect the scimitar to keep up this much with it. I almost, I too shot those guys. Hold low. Oh yeah, sunlight blade on this thing would be so gross right now. I love sunlight blade. This is the first time I've ever seen him back into the door like that. Um, I'll use charcoal for iron golem. Oh, uh, we're gonna go for gravity, but if we don't get it, that's fine. Yep, we got it. Um, I did his entire health bar. Why didn't he fall over? What? Um. What? I was hitting the knee, not the foot. Uh, okay, if that's true, that's hilarious. Uh, it might be because I was spamming strong attacks, actually. <laughs> Maybe upgrade your weapons. True.
All right. On to Anne Orlando we go. We actually probably one shot painting guardians right now, which is really nice. So that Grumzold can make his pilgrimage to the Sunlight City. I need to remember to name the uh, the cleric Grumzold. Uh, yeah, we can start putting some bubbles in health. Just so that way I don't get one shot by Atorius. Who is probably the. That's probably the one that I'm the most worried about this run. But we'll probably be fine. Like, I'm not even really expecting Calamine to be that much of an issue, comparatively. And I'll leave you. I hate Anne Orlando. This is my least favorite part of a speedrun. Not that I hate the area, but whenever I'm speedrunning Dark Souls 1, I... I hate it. Okay, I was throwing knives. I was about to say, if I got the... Uh... Can I force you to play Zelda? There are very few Zelda games I have not played. I have played a lot of Zelda games in my time. Yeah, the okay, so the beams is really the main part. Archers very rarely go wrong for me, but like they do sometimes, but yeah, that that building is the worst. Have you ever played Zelda Ring? <laughs> He's speaking the language of the gods. He tried. Backs the bow only. The vacuum backstabs. Thankfully, Yen Orlando isn't uh, too bad from here on out. Archives are more annoying? Oh, don't worry. That's, uh, that's where uh, Duke Skip happens, and that's... Not exactly an easy uh, trick to land. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I need to be careful of back arrow here. There it is. Whoa. Nope. There we go. One shotting Silver Knights with Hornet Ring parry is uh pretty gross, by the way. I know we have Hornet Ring on, but still pretty gross. Okay, ONS. Um, honestly, if we get decent RNG, this fight's gonna go by really fast. Like this could get really messy.
Uh, I'm gonna reset the giants here just to be safe. About just under two hours in. Okay. Ow. Ah. Ooh, I just popped my wrist, and that was a weird tingling feeling that just went into my palm. Ooh, that was weird. Ooh. Ooh, that feels really weird, actually. I couldn't feel my right hand for a second there, I don't think. I got it back, though. Oh my god, I got optimal alert scene RNG. What in the world? Huh? What? Where'd he go? I sent him to the Shadow Realm. What the hell? Uh oh. I'm fine. This is fine. I'm greedy. I sent him to the Shadow Realm. What was that? I am flabbergasted. I just annihilated Ords. I was doing two chunks of health per swing. That was so gross. The Wonder Twins versus the Godskin duo. Who wins? I mean, I I really like Godskin duo, but ONS is still better. Is it weird that that just feels normal to me? Okay, to be fair, my brain is infected by a spiky chest plate, so, you know. But maybe... Maybe a starting sword that focuses on a lot of attacks shouldn't deal that much damage, you know? Still feels kind of weird. Oh, my right hand feels weird now. Ugh, I'm gonna have to, I'm probably gonna put some ice on that or something after stream. I hate God's Kin Duo with every fiber of my being. After I die, they scatter my ashes to the wind. It will spell out fuck the God's Kin Duo I'm in the sorry. sky. You could not be the uh. Actually, I'm just gonna learn the ring this side. And we'll do that that side.
So at this point, we're uh, kind of just going to start blending bosses. Um, I need to pick up Dark Moon Seance Ring on my way down. Um, but then I guess we're just going for Nito. strat for that fall, but bonus shields? No bonus shields. Nito has a major skill issue, was the first one to die. How long has this stream been going on? About two hours? Let me see. Uh, we have been live for two hours and 13 minutes. I didn't pick up Dark Moon Seance Ring. Whoops. Uh, that's okay. We'll get it later. That or I'll just kill Guinevere. After all, I am the milkman. Add a post it note to your monitor. Maybe. Considering how many times I've forgotten to grab things this run. I just one shot that thing. I need a second whiteboard. Step Nito's explosions this run. The amount of health I have. Thankfully, with these wide arcing attacks from the uh, scimitar, I can just hit the skeletons with the same strike. Also, I guess he's just dead. Uh, 
There we go. Um. I suppose we can go do. All the bosses must be lactose intolerant. True. Ah. My leg. My leg. I'm just a brittle boy today, I guess. Beat DS1 with randomized controls? I've thought about it. Although it would kind of quickly fall off once I got used to the controls. Yeah, just three shot giants. Like, that's reasonable. That that's a that's a reasonable amount of damage. A run where your weapons changes every few seconds. That would be fun. Oh, I should have gone and killed the Hydra before I did this, huh? Oh, that's all right. Do that. Armor of Thorns run, but every time you rolled, you also take damage. Oh, God. Emotional damage. Oh. First try. GG, no easy. Pogus. Now, if only I could get that first try when I'm doing actual speedruns. Uh, I'm gonna rest at this bonfire just so I don't have to do that over again, but. The. <laughs> Can you beat Bloodborne? That's the whole challenge. Can you be Bloodborne? How was the ONS fight? I missed it. Uh, disgusting. We killed Ornstein in like 11 seconds. I'm gonna pop 10 humanity here just to give myself curse resist.
Um, cause I don't, I don't want to get cursed by Senior Seath. Where's this is Baldur's Gate 3, Mr. Weak Man? I'm not that weak. It actually might be easier for me to just kill the clams right here. But... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait. I actually think I'm not getting clams here. Okay, I'm gonna do the strat where he attacks the crystal. I want maximum time for DPS. I wanna see if I can just like quote unquote one cycle see here. Can you attack please? You literally broke the crystal. Why are you regening? Not even close. If I had timed my DPS better, I could have. It's alright though. Right here? Aha! More attacks, more attacks, more roll. Uh, if he curses you, tell him to seethe and coat. Bruh. Um, who's left? Head of Chaos, actually. That's the only lord that's left. That's funny. Um, I guess we can go do that real quick. I mean, there's nothing stopping us from doing that. And then once we're done with Bed of Chaos, we'll do Gwendolyn Priscilla DLC. And then we're done. <coughs> ah. Hello, Skrillbo. Welcome in. Good to see you again. Sorry for coughing in your ear, by the way. I did not think about the politeness of me coughing. story time oh no I don't know uh I don't know what stories I've got for you today have I missed orange scene and smo you have don't worry though the vod will be here forever and ever you already fight Nito indeed We are on our way now to Bed of Chaos, and then we'll have all of the Lords done. Uh, and then after that, we have to do uh, Gwendolyn, Priscilla, uh, and then the DLC. Fire safe Demon Wend, that's the next one we're headed to, so pretty soon.
As if you didn't pretend to be a god a week ago. And it worked, mostly, kind of. Is the game slower or something? For, what do you mean? With great milk comes great responsibility. <laughs> Uh, no, we will not get two class runs in one stream only because I know the next one is going to take a while. Like the next one is debatably the hardest one of on the whole list. That's easy already done it before. I mean, we did regular dagger, which is what sorcerer is going to be, but bandit knife though is uh it's going to be its own thing. Cuz thief might get brutal. Bleed allows you to walk through the game easily. It's crazy. I mean, potentially, the problem th is more so with the DLC. Mm, we'll have to see. Because I thought Bandit Knife gets lower AR in, in late game, but... I could be wrong. How are we doing on Capra Demons, by the way? Two shot in Capra Demons. Neat. and thought there about uh, how I'm planning out the video. Uh, Demon Fire Sage is... Oh my god, I one-shot these things with a slashing weapon. Skipping centipede? Nah, we're going straight for him. Oh, did not mean to do that. How are you so OP? What's the build? It, it, oh man, how to be OP in 10 minutes. Bringing that trend back. Where are you going, bro? Where is you going? All right, well. That was something. <laughs> Bunkai. Uh, do 
Do I have gold pine? I do. Well. <coughs> oh, I really do apologize for coughing me in all ears. I'm gonna have to go get a drink here probably soon. Solar boy, I have not talked to him once this run. I did not mean to jump there. That was interesting. Definitely have to chug here. Coming nice and close this time. I come over, bait you into. Huh. Cool. Yeah, centipede demon is also fairly squishy, so this doesn't surprise me as much. Yeah, that one wasn't as surprising to me. Centipede Demon's a fairly squishy boss. Bro comes at you with the dramatic entrance only to go down in nine hits. True! Uh, I guess more damage? I'd like to see 400 AR. I mean, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Your stream is making my day better? I really hope so. It's my one goal is to hopefully make y'all have a bit better of a day. And if I ever get that, I'm happy. Oh, did I? Yeah, I guess I did take off the serpent's ring right before I got the souls. Whoops. How many times did you upgrade the scimitar? It is max upgrades. <clears throat> Out of my way, please. Not fire being the loudest sound in the universe. Alrighty, bed of chaos, bonfire. Kill a bed. Yeah. Either the hardest or second hardest boss in uh, Dark Souls without walking. That challenge was annoying. I'd even say she's a uh, Betty. 
maybe her name was Betty. If that was a slab, I was going to actually vomit all over my keyboard. Ah! It fits, Betty of Isolith. Hot tip, don't vomit on your keyboard. True. No branches, Pog? What do you mean? What do you mean? Drink, drink. All right, left side done. Now to do right side. Is it easier to go for the left first? Yeah, because the right side has a fairly consistent safe spot you can hit. No branches, Pog. Sprint here. And then you just have to watch out for when she slaps right side. And we're good. That little branch there is a nice little safe spot if you're using zero range strats, like totally melee, um, bed of chaos. Is it reliable? It's fairly reliable. The timing is kind of tight though. Yo, branchless? What was I stuck? Did y'all see that? What was I stuck on there? Okay, right here is about where we stand. And uh, lock here. Wait for her to stop freaking out. She's doing a downward smack there, so we're good. Am I gonna two shot her? Let's two shot her. Damn. I'm too strong. Uh... All right. Oh wait, I didn't have the souls yet. There we go. Three ninety six. So we need a few more strength levels in order to reach our four hundred AR. Uh, I suppose. You know what? Let's just kill Guinevere. This will be easier. Which DLC boss do you think will be the easiest and the hardest? Easiest will definitely be, uh... Easiest will definitely be Sanctuary Guardian. Hardest... That's tough. Um... 
probably going to be Artorius or Calamite. Probably Artorius, though. No, I think I don't think Manus is going to give me too much trouble, but I just think that's because I'm pretty experienced at Manus. Thou hast done me a done it me a bother, little man. I now leave for the wind. Good luck, Mr. Weekend. Thanks for coming and hanging out, Rick. Really do appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm gonna leave her alive just in case I die to Gwendolyn. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking with Artorius. There's not a lot of opportunities to just DPS. Bet you haven't even fought him upwards of 300 times on this year alone. Yeah, right? Yeah, it is just past his bedtime. Still the rest of the day, though. I'm gonna need to go get more charcoal pine resin. Heretic. Wow! I have feelings, you know. First thou offendest the godmother, and now thou see fit to trample upon the tomb of the great lord. Uh Alright, are we going to one cycle Gwendolyn? Place your bets. It's alright. That does not count as a cycle, by the way. Not until I start damaging him. curse upon me, I guess. Yeah, we're not quite at turbo cracks levels like you can get with some weapons in this game, but... Okay, so with two-handed, we're at 398. I don't think gold pine resin would have fixed it. It, it. It's more damage, but I don't think it would have been a lot more damage. I wish you weren't almost done. No, no, I'm here. No, I don't. Painting jump scare. How close to going insane during the Thorn Armor run? A lot closer than uh, people may realize. Uh.
fact, that that's not even a joke. I went, uh, I, I was pretty close to being actually insane there for a bit. Leave me alone. Ow. I... That was a true combo. I was spamming roll there. That, uh... That was a true combo. I honestly should have just killed everything. That would have been smarter. Why is this not working properly today? Oh, it's because I'm doing the angle wrong. That's why I realize. I do not want to get toxic. Damn it. What did I just say? Well, I'll deal with it. There we go. Thank you. Excuse me. It would have been just faster at this point for me to just run through the entire place. I'm going to need one, two, what do you think? One, two. Four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna need at least four more charcoal, charcoal, uh, charcoal pine resin. Uh, angle was a little too wide. All right. go and just like that one of those arrows felt really weird how they block Hi, Priscilla. Pardon? Pardon? I there we go. Backflip. All right, there's Painted World done. Um, I guess we just have to go do DLC next, right? Because we did Butterfly, we did Gaping, we did Capra, we did Taurus, we did Stray. Yeah, I guess we're just down to the DLC.
Did you do stray before I woke up? Yeah, that's when I got the, uh, that's where I got the Titanite slab. All right, chat, I am going to quickly go refill my drink and uh, use the restroom real fast. So I will be back in just a moment. Don't go anywhere because uh, it is DLC time next. So where is it under my game capture? I have my be right back text showing. Do I? Wait. I'm confused. What is it? What is this text? I don't know. Either way, I'll be right back. You guys miss me? Did I miss you? Each and every one of you. I missed you a lot. Who's pinging me on PS4? Oh, I see. Ooh, hot cocoa. Actually, that sounds really good right now. 
I should go get some of that after this stream. My lactose intolerant body is gonna scream in pain at me, but like, it'll be worth it. Uh, I guess HP is fine. I always miss you. Stop using warding flare. No. Uh, okay, we've got to go to Undead Parish to go kill the Hydra. Once we've killed Hydra, we're going to need to go make a quick trip back to the female Undead Merchant, buy a bunch of uh, charcoal pine resin, and then... That's, uh... That, that'll... It'll just basically be a boss rush from then on out. Get marshmallows for the chat? I right, I got you. When we're done with the stream, I can go make a cup of hot cocoa and we can sit here and we can chat over a cup of hot cocoa at the end of the stream for like 10 minutes and just talk about stuff. Got a blast. Have a great night. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out, William. I have Dr. Pepper with me, so I'm vibing. Yo, same. That's what I just refilled. Ow. Ah. Safety rock. shot the hydra heads. This is, uh, certainly something. Oh, hey, I got the annoying one already. Fear of the old blood. There we go. Nice and easy. Hashtag the most annoying fight in all of Armor of Thorns, the Hydra. You grab the pendant at the archives, right? No, I have to do this first and then I can get the pendant. Welcome in, Parsa. Which I should have done this before I went to archives, but I mean, it is what it is. My, 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 my. 
All right. She goes, and we go get ourselves the broken pendant, and then everything's hunky dory. Uh, first, though, we've got to go get uh, charcoal pine resin. Yeah, the DLC entrance for this game is just stupid. <laughs> Um, nice. We don't need a ton of resin, but just enough to get us through the DLC. Granted, charcoal's probably not going to do a bunch to Calamite, but... Can I request buying his second scimitar to parry Gwyn for the swag points? We'll see. I think I'm going to do it with just the Wanderer's Shield, although it does sound tempting. Now we got to run all the way back down there. I am not going to bare hand Gwyn to death. That sounds awful. That, honest, unironically, that might take almost as long as a pendant. Thank you. I was almost about to do something really stupid there. Yeah, that was almost really awkward. But it's fine. Why isn't the portal here? I I I just did everything. What what do you mean I don't have the pendant? Oh. I hit record on uh, OBS, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, I didn't send the elevator back down. Hopefully they get stuck. I am not gonna sit here and slowly noodle them to death. I forgot the pendant! Hey, 
Hey, you guys know what happens to the pendant if you drop it? It floats down. <laughs> Oh. It floats down. Not the crystal hollows doing more damage than the titanite demon. Hey, right, cool. Now it's time to go to DLC. Run in thy pockets, you scallywag. Crystal boys are clearly trained by half all the damage resistance. <laughs> hey, Kyle, do you have a Patreon? I do not. Um, I'm thinking that sometime soon-ish, I might start up the uh, start up with the YouTube members program, um, where you can do something kind of similar. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, at the moment, I don't feel like I can commit to doing good enough like rewards if that makes sense or like good enough incentives that would really be worth y'all's money more than like the time that you guys already dedicate to me then it's like actually asking for money right i like i want to make sure that if i do that i give y'all something that's really worth your time um but once i get there then you guys will surely know When I've made enough money, I'm super chatting $500. Only when you can do so responsibly, uh, because I will not ask you for your money. I will not ask any of you for your money. Life is hard enough as it is. ask that the time we spend together that you enjoy. Alrighty, who's ready for Sanctuary Guardian? Yeah, this guy is probably going to melt. Less HP than Quaylag, by the way. he gives me an opportunity to actually go in. Ah. Two in a row, I'll take it. Goodbye. 
my sanctuary guardian. Yeah, Sanctuary Guardian is another one of those bosses that is deceivably squishy. Alright. Welcome back, Zesty Pool. How long are Dark Souls fights actually supposed to last? If I had to gauge, probably four to five minutes. At least that's what feels right to me. All right, Royal Woods. My least favorite area in the game. Ah, get bopped, Calamite. Ding dong. No, this is Gamer's Weekend. It'll either be 12 seconds or an hour and some change. I didn't know that thing could die from fall damage. That's interesting. Watching while I work is hard. Well, then get your work done. Y'all's lives will always be more important than a silly little Dark Souls run. People decide my work, not me. Okay, that's fair. Wee. All right, I want green herb. Probably gonna need more than five, but you're important too. Yeah, but like get your life together before like worrying about watching my silly little run. I actually should have buffed first. That's okay. All right, this is probably gonna be uh, one of the more rough ones. Oh yeah, especially when I'm taking that much damage. Ah. Oh wow, I that was my bad. I completely forgot about that attack. I'm gonna take this opportunity to heal. I, wow, okay. It's hitting me a lot with that one. was a bit far for me to roll that particular way.
That should be GG. Yeah, there we go. Woo! That was a bit sweaty. But we got it. I have a feeling that'll probably end up being the hardest uh, fight this run. Who knows? Manus might give me trouble. I saw a gaping die. Now you're here. Yes, sir. Not mean to backstab there. It's all right. There we go. Any droppers? Nah. Hello, the very good mimic. Whoa. Large detonate shard. I'm at work, so I missed Artorias. Ah, it's fine. More rubbish in case I wanted more Titanite chunks. First, we got to grab the crest key. This is also tends to be the safest way to get through that room because that room down there is brutal. Ow. Okay. Uh, we'll do this. And then this way. Oh, that was one two part of the left. He watched ye old XCOM vids. Oh my god! Now that's a lot of damage. Um, I don't believe I've died to any bosses this run. I've died once to the Dark Wraiths and once to these guys, and I think that's it so far. All the bosses I'm pretty sure have been first try, though. That's annoying, but it happens. Oh, yeah, I died once in Painted World as well. That's where I did. I was like, I'm pretty sure. Brother, what are you doing? Okay. Um...
That was a awkward spot. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um... Yeah. Ah, oh, I'm running. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I tried to recover it, but it was pretty, uh, it was pretty Jover. their hardest to kill me today that's just a hard run a hard spot to run though Will you be doing something similar for Dark Souls 2? Um, potentially. I mean, if people end up really liking this one, I mean, it could be another set of fun uh, streams to do. I could also do it for Elden Ring, and when I get done with Dark Souls 3, potentially for Dark Souls 3. Mr. B and how you doing? Good to see you. Dream, it's him. It's Mr. B and the guy you're the biggest fan of. It's him. He's here. Alright, come here, man. It's Good damage. Not a, not, 
not not super uh, tricky uh, when you just kind of kill him, you know. Is that kill for miracles only or for one shot? Armor of thorns. Or maybe Katsubles only. I don't know. We still got Calamite to do Zesty. Actually, yeah, I should go uh, see Calamite first. Now nah, we got to do Calamite. And then we'll do Gwyn. The spin to win dragon. Ha, that's the cursed number. 6,033, the number of pain. My man's going to kill him, meet his end by the milkman, at the hand of the milkman. What the dog do? What the dog do? Oh, my friend. Ow. Oh, that one hurt. Oh, my wrist. Oh, what is your feel today? Oh, man. Oh, I might have to finish this run with one hand. Ugh. And it's not my dominant hand either. All right, weekend. We'll I'll see what happens. Ah, my wrist. That is skill issue. Everyone else already plays one-handed. Yeah, problem is that's my dominant hand. That feels weird. I too played DS one handed AO. Especially when I'm fighting Quay like, hey, yo. How easy was this one? Well, the scimitar is kind of strong. I mean, yeah, I have beaten this game one handed before, <laughs> before I started YouTube. 
What happened after I left after Gargoyles? Everything died. Except for Gwyn and Calamine. It has just been non-stop scimitar slaughter by the milkman. Yeah, Thief's gonna be, uh... That's certainly gonna be one of the runs of all time. So, this particular run has been pretty easy. Uh, I expected it to be a little harder, but... Honestly, Scimitar just kind of melts things, especially when you have 50 decks. Alright, let's do this, Cali. Not bad damage. Not bad damage at all. Not the best damage, but... Hey, that's... I'm not asking for the best. Nice and easy. Seventy-two thousand souls. Can I get a swag off hand curve sword parry? We already did that though. You know what? I'll tell you what. I'll tell everyone in chat what. We will end the run on a parry swap. I have to get the timing correct, but... We will... I will attempt to end it on a parry swap. In order to do this, I'm gonna have to drop some items to make it work. But you sorry fool. Okay, so I'm gonna have to This is where Leather Shield's gonna have to go. Okay, so I'm gonna need to drop the Black Knight Swords. Okay. Uh, do you know the explanation as to why Calvin no longer has an arrow in his left wing? His arrow go away. A 
parry swap. Okay, so the idea here is I'm going to attempt, attempt to, for the final hit on Gwyn, I'm going to have the scimitar in my left hand. I'm going to parry him with the scimitar, switch the scimitar back to my right hand that I parried him with, and then repost with it before he exits the parry animation. That is what we are going to attempt to do. Let's see what happens. Parry swap is going to make this uh, a bit tricky. I'm only going to do it on the final parry, though. As I get absolutely bodied. First boss death? Yeah, that is the first death to a boss. I should have been smarter with it, though. Very god true. Uh, that is death number five total. I'm always too late on the uh, on the initial swing. I need to get better at it. Guys, it's just following the old tradition that I always die to Gwyn at least once.
didn't get the, uh, I didn't, uh, my brain forgot I was supposed to be going for the swap there. It's fine. Should have gotten a second scimitar? That's cheating. It's cheating to get the second scimitar. I'm getting the parry swap. <laughs> Exactly. I, I, listen, I am the milk man. My milk is delicious. I need to get the time. Like, honestly, I should practice the initial swing timing better. Gwyn is actually a little scary in this run. I mean, once you get him into the parry loop, it's not too bad, but the shield being not great actually does make Gwyn kind of spooky. There we go. He'll live one more. Actually, I'm not even testing it. Do it again. No! Hold on. This is fine. Perry, no, that's against the point. It defeats the point. Okay, so what I need to do is, nope. There we go. I'm gonna get this. Even if I have to spend the next hour of stream doing this. Um, the shield is in second slot anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It would still be the same process. I could have killed him a long time ago, but I want the parry swap because it's cool. equivalent of landing a Dark Souls trick shot. Your fire is running out, so you're dealing less damage. That doesn't change the fact that I'm not landing the parry swap, though. That is completely devoid of what the actual point is.
360 no scope him with a throwing knife. Absolutely swagged on you, moron. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, that was satisfying. <laughs> you know what? No, I'm walking out like a dark god after that one. Chad walking out of this place. My lord, bless thy safe return. Yeah, rip bozo. And and Do you know who I am, brother? I am the milk god, and my milk is divine. Now, how much extra time did that freaking Quinn fight add? Probably an additional, like, only 10, 15 minutes, to be honest. Uh, 3.25. Fastest run so far. That is where we end the Wanderer playthrough. Should have let the credits play. It would have affected the game time. And there we go. That is the Wanderer done. That was... Okay. Scimitar kind of schnutty, if you know what I mean. Um... This probably for me is going to be a pretty close tie with the knight. The knight just has so much raw defensive power that I could probably see people having an easier time with that. But yeah, this is a, uh, this was also a very good run. going to go get that hot chocolate I spoke of because uh, I promised that I would I would uh, make some hot cocoa and speak with y'all so let me go make sure I've got good milk uh, if you guys are just here for the run um, that's going to be it as far as Dark Souls goes for today so if you just want to hang out and talk for a few minutes cool um, what is the next stream uh, very likely going to be uh, a week from today um, we'll see what happens. Can I get your milk? Absolutely not. That sounds disgusting. Um, can you beat DSR Perry swapped only? 
Um, let me go get some hot cocoa, though, and we'll, we'll, we'll sit here and we'll chat for a minute. Um, so, I'll be right back. Hot cocoa sounds good. In celebration of the milkman, I'll be right back, chat.
ha. I have returned with hot cocoa. All right. Let me, uh... You know what? Here, this is what we'll do. Where is... A boinkus! Whoa! It's me, him, it's that guy. Hello. No, no, that's not... What am I moving? Okay, that's weird. Okay, me? Whoa, look at me. I'm the wanderer now. I'm the wanderer, and I'm enjoying a nice cup of hot chocolate. There we go. How y'all doing? Actually, that's slightly off position now that I'm looking at it. Hold on. All right. Nope. I don't want to move that. Camera. There we go. Can I please stop doing that? Can I do, like, arrow keys? I can do arrow keys. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. That's better. How is everybody doing today? I'm not going to sit here for super long. I'm just going to sit here and drink this hot cocoa. And, uh, that'll be it. What's everybody, uh, what's everybody been up to? Celebratory hot cocoa for uh, the milkman's victory. I'm good. You? I've actually been doing. What's the What's the right way to put this? I've been doing unusually well this week. Uh, the first week, I'm, I've actually like maintained a proper work schedule in a really, really long time. Um, I, I got. One of the projects that I was really that I really want to do, I made major headway on it this week, which is really nice. Um, scripting will happen for it soon, but I was pretty happy about that. Kyle, I have a question. Shoot, ask away. I'm hoping that I can somewhat maintain this work schedule that I had this week, so that way y'all can get some more uh, more uh, content. Remember that edit I made? How would you rate it? One to ten. Chief. I'm biased. I'm going to be biased. That's going to be an 11 from me. Finally got my friend to get DS1 and 2, so we played it last night and got past the gargoyles before we stopped. Ooh, that's fun. I'm dealing with people writing things in for my gerb. Oh. Sorry, I had to click on something real fast. But yeah, uh, works, uh, being able to maintain a work schedule like this would mean that videos would be a lot more often for you guys, which I'm really hoping to do going into next year because these last two years have been really rough mentally, to say the least. But I'm... Uh, Trying to get onto my own two feet again and just try to dive back in. And at least for the last week, it's been successful. So we'll see how, how well this goes. Try not to get buried under schoolwork. Thanksgiving break is next week. Oh, yeah, Thanksgiving. Oh, wow, that's next week. That's six days away. Huh. Still deciding what I'm going to do for Thanksgiving this year. Hopefully it goes well for you, man. I appreciate that. I'm hoping for it, too. And I've got chocolate on my hand. Interesting. But, yeah, it's... I've got some cool stuff that I'm working on for y'all, and hopefully y'all will enjoy that. I am playing a deck build in DSR, and... Sorry, my chat is in the weirdest angle, so it's hard to read the right most part of the message. And I am struggling in sends. Any advice? Um, backstabs on serpents, very, very good. Um, 
don't fret too much about the boulders. Um, just kind of take them as they go. Um, as far as the pendulums go, um, the points are where the hitbox is, but the flat end of the, the pendulums, you can actually run up against those. Let's make tomorrow even better than it was today. Teamwork, fun, let's go. I've enjoyed everything I've seen from you so far. I really appreciate it. I can tell you've never watched the Halo series. I mean, uh, that series that doesn't exist. Yeah. Uh, anyways. Uh, um... So Nah, I've got a... Uh, I've got the DS3 video that I'm working on, and I've got a challenge video for a uh, <laughs> the cam position. I got you. Um, I've also got um, a challenge video that I finished the playthrough yesterday, so um, I was going to do some scripting today, but I obviously wanted to get the stream. That's where the chocolate is. It's on the side of the cup. It's chocolate on a black cup. It's not my birthday, but it says happy birthday on the cup. Got chocolate everywhere. I'm going to have to go wash my hands. DS3 blind is a lot smoother than DS1 and DS2. Yeah, probably. I think DS3 is a, lit, a bit easier to uh, digest blind. top tier playthrough as somebody who knows jack all about the game yeah no it's a uh it's pretty fun you know what actually um actually uh let me see if there's a way because i've said in an earlier stream what it is i will actually do y'all one better for sticking and hanging out during the hot cocoa i will show you the thumbnail because y'all are awesome and y'all deserve something for hanging out with me and just being just the most awesome chat I could ask for. Because I can find the thumbnail. No, oh, that's the problem. Uh, I'm in the wrong folder. Okay. Uh, thumbnail. Uh, Booski. It's on the wrong monitor. Oh, God. Uh, I got to shift monitors. And now my entire computer just went black. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Okay, now I just gotta do. Bop, 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 do, bop. Giddy up, bop. Uh, there we go. And Habonkus! Oh god! Why is that so big? What happened? Ah, hold on. I gotta. Ah, there we go. There we go. That'll work. So that's what, uh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, if I move my camera onto there, where do I appear? A ba! Ah! Get me out of here! A ba! That is above. Okay, Kyle, when did you organize your freaking scene from? Why is the most prioritized thing on your YouTube capture phasmophobia? I've uh. Yeah, that's. I really know how to uh how to game, don't I? All right, well, yeah. DS3 challenge when? Probably sometime next year. Probably. Depending on if I can trap Dream in a cage and force him to teach me how to play the game. Phasmophobia when? I was going to do a Phas challenge for Halloween, but it just kind of fell through. All right, though. God damn it, not the cage again. Yeah, it's been uh it's been a while since I stuck you in there for stamina list, hasn't it? Alrighty. 
I think I am about done with my hot cocoa, so that's going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. Really do appreciate it. Um, as for when the next stream is going to be, I do not know yet. Um, probably going to be a week from today. If not, uh, then we will find out. We'll figure it out, you know? But, oh, by the way, Joel, you want to see this? It's, it's cool. It's my cool sign. It's way too bright for the camera. It's blinding even. You can barely even tell that it says GW, but blinding. Anyways, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. Really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, next time, I'm pretty sure we're taking on the Thief, which is uh, probably going to be the hardest class. It's going to be painful. Hope y'all are there to uh, see it. Uh, is anybody live right now before I do this? Do I want to raid out? Oh, is Dylan live? Oh, Dylan's live. Uh, oh, God, I just realized I closed my own chat. I can't see you guys. All right. Can we all do me a favor? Can we raid somebody for me real quick? Uh, this this uh, particular YouTuber's name is United Gamer. He is a very, very awesome friend of mine. Uh, if you don't know what a raid is, basically we all just go and we spam in some... Well, no, don't spam. Just go type in Gamer's Weekend Raid. I will spam the link in chat. If y'all could please go Gamer's Weekend Raid or GW Raid. GW Raid would be awesome. Please and thank you. He's a really good friend of mine. Go ahead and check him out. Uh, he plays mostly Pokemon, but right now he's playing a Call of Duty tournament. So go ahead and hit him up with a Gamers Weekend Raid. Once again, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. I'll catch you gamers on the flip side. Have a great night, everybody.